ligaments of the shoulder girdle. Now there are five main ligaments on this particular model which we need to identify. But before we can do that, we need to go through the important pieces of the scapula. So if we take a scapula, we need to know what this bony landmark here is. That's called the coracoid process. We need to know what the acromion is. We need to know what the glenoid cavity is, which is the actual socket of that ball and socket joint. So coracoid process on the front of your shoulder, on the high or towards the posterior of your shoulder, we have the acromion, we have the glenoid cavity, which is the actual socket. So when we look at the uh, shoulder girdle ligaments, those particular features on this model are, we have the coracoid process, which we can see here. Uh, we have the acromion, which is on the top. Slightly harder to see now because it's covered in some of these ligaments. We also have the clavicle on this particular model. And we have the humerus down the uh, side here. So when we start, we think about the words. Uh, we've got a ligament that runs from the coracoid process to the clavicle. Uh, right there. And that's called the coracoclavicular ligament. So from the coracoid process to the clavicle, coracoclavicular ligament. On the top here, we've got a ligament that runs from the acromion to the clavicle, and it's called the acromioclavicular ligament. We've got a ligament here that runs from the coracoid process to the acromion, and that's called the coracoacromial ligament. So when we think about that, so all I've done there is I've just gone in a circle. I've gone coracoclavicular, acromioclavicular, and coracoacromial ligaments. Now we've got two ligaments that we need to learn which attach to the humerus. The first is this one on top here. Now that's actually going deep underneath and attaching to the base of the coracoid process. So that goes from the coracoid process to the humerus and it's called the coracohumeral ligament. There's a ligament uh, that wraps around the entire glenoid cavity, which again was that socket of the ball and socket, and attaches to the humerus. And you can see here in the model, it goes all the way around. So it's going around the glenoid cavity, attaching to the humerus, so it's called the glenohumeral ligament. So they're the five. So we've got the coracoclavicular, the acromioclavicular, the coracoacromial, the coracohumeral and the glenohumeral. This, uh, this particular uh, you know, uh, landmark here, or this ligament that's running out of the shoulder, it's actually not a ligament at all. It's the, uh, the bicep brachii origin. So any uh, part of a model which kind of sort of is left hanging at the end, doesn't really go anywhere, they're generally tendons. So in this case, that's the bicep brachii tendon.